Every cow-calf producer wants to be as efficient as possible with their winter feeding program. For those with spring calving operations, one of the ways that we can be just a little more efficient is by planning now to sort the cow herd into those groups that have similar nutrient requirements. As we go through the weaning process and through other fall workings, now is a good time, I think, to start putting together those groups of cows that best fit together. I have three groups in mind for those of the mature cows in the herd. The two-year-olds that had their first baby last spring are going to have their, their second calf next spring are certainly a group that I think we need to give extra special attention to as we go through the winter. We want to remember that they're continuing to grow. They have that extra requirement in terms of getting enough energy into them so that they uh, have adequate milk, repair a reproductive tract after the calf is born, and have a chance to recycle to rebreed on time with the rest of the cow herd. And we want to remember that they're 20% smaller on the average than adult cows, and so they get bossed around and shoved away from the feed bunk or the supplement fed out on the ground. Also, we want to remember those two-year-olds are going through that time in their life when they're changing from baby teeth to adult teeth. That makes them a little more vulnerable yet to keep body condition on them as they uh, go through the, the late winter and spring months. Also, then I would consider a next group to be the old cows, those that are 10 years of age or older. They're beginning to get unsound in their mouth just due to age and may be more prone to losing body condition as they go through the winter months. We may like to get one or two more calves from them before they're actually culled from the herd, but that means again that we may want to make sure that they have plenty of supplement available so that they maintain body condition. That leaves the third group. That's those cows that are basically age four years old to about nine years of age. They're already reached mature size, they're no longer growing, and they are the ones that should be able to maintain body condition with just our normal winter supplement program. So that's three groups for adult cows that we could consider. Many small cow-calf operations in Oklahoma and across the Southwest may not have the pasture space to have three different groups. If that's the case, consider putting the first two groups together, those real young cows with the real old cows, and then the middle group, the, that's the group that we can feed separately. I think this is something that we can do to help maintain the body condition in all of these groups of cows as efficiently as possible with our winter feeding program just by doing a little sorting and putting them into groups that have similar nutrient requirements. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner.